One of the key concepts that needs to be understood in order to understand monetary unions, so it's going to be especially useful for this article, is the um, Mundell Fleming trilemma, also called the impossible trinity. So, why is it called that way? That's what we are going to see right now. The principle of the impossible trinity is that uh, there are three sides to a triangle but each country can only choose two sides. But all countries, ideally, would want to have all three. The first thing that a country wants is free capital mobility. Because that means that money can flow in and out of the country without too much disruption. Secondly, a country is going to want monetary autonomy. That means that they can set their own interest rate. A stable interest rate keeps borrowers happy without upsetting savers. So it's basically what you want. And finally, the third thing that countries are going to want is exchange rate management, meaning that uh, the exchange rate remains relatively fixed because it, that way the price for import and export stay the same so the price of the bundles and the goods stay the same. Now you're the EU. Where do you stand? By definition, you have free capital mobility and exchange rate mine management. Why is that? When you're a monetary union, you um you have chosen to have free capital mobility between uh, within that that monetary union. And in the European Union, we know that there is free movement for capital and goods. And uh, exchange rate management, well, since there is a common currency, that's that's the most radical way that you can fix um, an exchange rate because one euro is always going to be equal one euro. It's the same currency, so there is no exchange rate. So the EU has chosen those two sides.